All right. So, huge announcement. As of Monday, anyone can now submit a connector to the Power Platform. So previously, as you know, you had to own the API in order to do this, right? You had to be one of the owners. You had to be Adobe to submit an Adobe Design connector. And we heard your feedback loud and clear over the years that, you know, why can't anyone else just submit a connector and have it be official on the Power Platform? So now you can do that. Um, and so just to introduce myself, I am one of the program managers on the connectors team, uh, now called the ecosystem integrations team within the Power Platform. And I'm also joined here today with Wung Choi, who is actually one of the first independent publishers um, to our platform. So just to show off his connector and, um, you know, um, you know, ask about his experience and how it went so far so you can all learn from it. So the mission of the independent publisher connector group is to bring the best together, the best people connecting great ideas to data, apps, and flows, right? So we want to go beyond the limitation of allowing only API owners to submit. We want anyone to be able to submit, of course, as long as, you know, it's properly tested and it's validated and we do all that work um, as the connector certification team. And we also want to make it easier for connector developers to collaborate on connectors, right? Today, you kind of have to um, download it and send it via email. But now you can just, um, you know, collaborate straight within the GitHub repository that we have today. And so the goals and the benefits of the program, right? You get to gain like your name or, you know, if you decide to put your consulting company's name or any other publisher name that you pr can provide, you can gain visibility across all of our platform products, documentation, um, demos, videos, blogs, social media posts, so your name will get make a lot of noise here, of course. And you also get the maintainer rights for the connector. So you're one of the people who officially owns the, co um, the code um, that you're submitting, which is pretty awesome. And of course, like I mentioned, share and collaborate on building custom connectors. You get the official stamp of approval that your connector has been validated, tested, and is, you know, we trust this connector and that anyone can use it. Um, and of course, this is an open source contribution. So if you're in a Microsoft MVP, your contributions will count here as well. Cool. So let's go straight into the demo just to show you all what it looks like in the product. Um, and the common misconception here is like, oh, do I have to download something, right? The great thing is these are actually officially added. They all have the same generic icon and they all have independent publisher within parentheses right after them, which is pretty darn awesome. Um, and you can always see them within the recently added connectors page. So the connector page itself will look something like this, and we're planning to grow this significantly. You'll see in my next couple of slides, we're going to add um, a, a view and submit review system so that people could submit reviews for your connector. Also, you know, showing the usage just to get makers excited about using this connector so that you can drive that usage up, um, as well as you can go straight into GitHub. And soon we'll also be adding a submit and issue button within this page for people who aren't comfortable with GitHub and want to submit the issue right away. Okay. And in terms of how they show up straight within the product, so again, you don't have to download or anything. Just type in, let's say, Airtable. I'm just doing this for the purpose just to show you what it looks like, right? So you have the Airtable connector. Let's say we want to create a record for this for the purpose of this flow. You'll see it like this. You have the published by, and we have Woom here, um, and you know all this other information. Whether it's a description about the connector, when it was last updated, you can see it in GitHub, so on and so forth. And it's all under that MIT license. So Woom just wanted to give you a chance to you know introduce yourself, and you know share any tips that you had um, during the development of the connector phase and the certification phase. Hello, everyone. So I'm Ung Choi from Seven Sigma. I came as a Power Platform developer in Seven Sigma for one and a half years, almost. Yep. And yeah, I got across with Natalie and got a chance to create this connector and show it to the public so people can use it freely. That's the brief. Natalie, any questions you had? Yeah, how does it feel to have your name in there? <laughs> It's very good and I'm a bit nervous because there's a lot of people in this call. Even though I can't say it, but I can still feel the pressure. So yeah, it's just great. I always like to com contribute to the community that 
people can use it because some people not comfortable with the technology or they are like they don't they can't have much time on spending all this stuff uh, it's always been great to contribute to this community that so many people can use it thank you awesome all right, so now let's just show a really quick, um, just the Power Platform Connectors repository has a specific folder for independent publisher connectors, and you see some of them posted here. Um, and we have a description of the directory, the best practices, information on contributing, and we're only gonna add more and more links here, especially to documentation that we have, right? So we have the typical create a custom connector from scratch documentation, but then in terms of, you know, the certification process and submitting and all best practices, you can also find that now in a new link called independent publisher certification process within certifier connector, which is pretty awesome. Great. Let's go back to the presentation. So we did the both, the both of the demos. And so currently we, in production, we have seven you can find um, all by these incredible people. And coming soon, we already have a number on in queue as PRs in, um, in GitHub. We have some funny connectors as well. I heard dad jokes in the beginning of the call. There will be a dad jokes connector on its way as well, which is pretty exciting. So we have a lot of fun things coming along and of course like any other submissions that we receive but this is what we have in the pipeline so far which is pretty darn awesome um and what's next like i said we're only going to keep improving to the certification experience based on feedback that we receive from publishers publishers are the ones you know essentially also driving this and helping along the way which is great then we also will have more additions to the connector page UI, the submit and issue button, ability to submit and review connectors, usage telemetry, so on and so forth, uh, monthly blogs and social media engagements. And then this, I put this temporarily, but we'll have more information coming along the way. There will be a new community call, which I'm working with April on. Um, so that's coming, nothing's finalized yet, but we're on their way. So you'll hear more soon and more and more incentives, especially as you know, we um, we keep hearing back from the community. We keep hearing the feedback. We are open to anything. Um, you know, this is just phase one of the program. So we're really interested in seeing what you might all need um, from us and to help this grow even better. So if you have a custom connector you've built, where you, whether you built it like a long time ago and you probably forgot about it, but you want to publish it, you know, publish it on GitHub today. Um, or if you have so that it can actually show up within the product, right? So people don't have to download it or anything like that, right? The whole purpose of this is to make it a lot easier and to get your name on there. If you don't know which connectors to build, the same link about GitHub is also, um, will be on the last slide and or is in all the blogs as well. And yeah, so here are all the more information that you can see. And I think David posts them all, which is great. Um, and that concludes my demo. So thank you everyone for having me. And you can always reach out to me about any questions. And we also have a program called the Project Coordinators who are part of this program. And so a couple of those are actually have already submitted connectors here. So Daniel, Paul is part of it as well. April, um, Ahmad Najjar and Rebecca Albers and Fausto. Um, which maybe are some some names that you've heard in the past. They're also very deeply involved and very gracious for all of their involvement and help throughout this project. So yeah, thank you so much. Awesome, thank you, Natalie, and thank you, Wong. Appreciate you joining us today. And just a mention on that community call that Natalie was referencing, the Power Platform Dev community call starting August 25th at 8 a.m. Uh, keep a lookout on our calendar there on the M365 Patterns and Practices a landing page where we have all the other community call listings. We will add it there so you'll be able to get to the recurring calendar invite as well as the direct teams link to join the call on demand. Uh, so again, thank you both very much.